Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. You know what? This is going to be somewhat of a rant because I know you guys like rants. This house is exactly five years old, okay? I'm not going to say what neighborhood I'm in. I'm not going to even say who the builder is because I think it just would not be fair because uh, I do a lot of work, a lot of work in this neighborhood. But they called me up because they said I couldn't find a handyman. They asked around the neighborhood and said, oh, yeah, 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 we got a guy for you. Well, that guy's me, okay? Because they kept noticing this one house that I've worked on up the street here for years and years. They said that house always seemed to be in just great shape. Well, this house is falling apart, man, five years. And let me start from the very beginning. Right here, that whole piece right there is made out of vinyl. And it fell off completely because they put the whole bloody thing up with nothing but brad nails. Okay, nothing but brad nails. And it warped and it literally fell off. Now you can see, see this little wave in there? See that wave? Well, the whole thing is warped, okay, from the sun. And, and, and like I said, it literally just fell off and hit the ground. So I put the whole thing back the other day, caulked it up, put some big old deck screws in it, and made sure it was attached to the header plate in the back of the top of the garage, okay? Painted it, caulked it, painted the hell out of it. And this is the best results I can get out of it without replacing the whole thing. Okay, that, that's number one what they called me on. Number two what they called me on is all these shutters. That's right, all these stupid little plastic tabs. Those plastic tabs are not worth a crap, okay? Well, <laughs> a big wind ripped that one, that one, this one, and this one literally was pulling off. And this is how you fix it, man. You put a black deck screw and you screw it in to the masonite. And what happens is the other part of the plastic from the, the little, pla the, you know, the little uh, plug will stay in the hole. And you take that deck screw and you screw it right into the plastic, okay? That's how you fix them. You don't go putting plastic right back, those plastic tabs back in there, man. Because they, they're not going to hold up. And here's a perfect example. There's one on the ground. See? So this thing is about three and a half inches long, and it breaks off right here. And the rest of it is sitting inside the hole in the masonite, okay? And then you just drill a screw right through it. That's how you do that, man. All right, plus the fit and finish on this house is terrible. I'm caught doing a bunch of caulking in the corner. You can see, you look at the outer edge right there. Look at that. Do you see what I see? You call that it's a fine work. That board is <laughs> it, it, the wrong kind of board to put up there, man. They 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 got look at look at the little looks like a deck board. See it? And it's not even flush. <laughs> it's, it doesn't even fit. And plus, too, a lot of caulk work. I'm doing a lot of caulk work. All right. And I won't even take you around to the deck. Good morning. I won't even take you around to the deck because the deck's already got a lot of problems too. And this is just one of a few things that I've got to do to this house, but to give you an idea, just, just simple little things. <sighs> Here's the rent. Now remember, this is five years old and this house passed inspection. What do you think this is? This is trim paint. This stuff right here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this, man. Do you think that they were in a rush? And they sold this house like this. And I won't even begin to tell you what the price tag on this place is. Look at this. It's everywhere. 
Now look, see, it's all separating, see? Just stupid little things, man. And I mean, you know, these guys, they built this place. It was production, baby. <laughs> it was all about production. And I'll lie to you not look, it's everywhere. <laughs> and this is around the entire house, you know? Look. I mean, it's freaking everywhere. And you want to see something hilarious. Okay. Now, I'm just going to say this house is over half a million dollars, okay? Now, I want you, I want you to see something. This is funny. We're going to have to get up on the ladder to do it. <sighs> okay. Let's get up on the old 10-footer here. Yeah. 65 years old and still climbing ladders, man. No problem. Okay. But this is their work. This is how this is this is from five years ago. They they sanded the outside of the damn thing, and then they didn't then they didn't even paint it. They left it just like that. Nice, huh? Freaking unbelievable! Look at that. This is the front of the house. This is where you're supposed to have your most curb appeal, right? And big old gaps under here. I've already cocked it, but just. Little stupid things. Look at it. See? Now, here's the here's the cool part. And I know this camera's gonna pick it up. Do you see what I see? Look closely. Look here. And look here. They didn't even match the damn paint. <laughs> you match the damn paint. And they shot brad nails into it, right? Look at the tips of the brad nails. <laughs> look at there's the entry point. And there's the exit point. <laughs> Fuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, stupid little shit. Look at this. There's a brad nail sticking out right there. I know you can see it. This camera's picking it up, bro. Look at that. You tell me that's quality. Is that quality? And then you got little gaps, you know, in the house. Just weird things, man. But you see it, right? Two-tone paint. Well, we, I already made, I already got a paint match. This is the original color. They had to repair this or do something with it. But anyway, whoever painted it didn't have even the, 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 the balls enough to, to get the right freaking color code. I mean, he probably tried to, you know, do some sort of match to it and got pretty close to the neck and eye across the street. You'd never see it, but up close, I see it. You know, just stupid little things. And oh yeah. There you go. Look at all the holes up there. You see the holes? Oh, those are carpenter bees. They're already tearing the hell out of that thing. And tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if that's flush fit up there. It's not. Look at that. It's not even. You know what? I bet you, I bet you those holes. I haven't been up there yet. I bet you those are damn drill holes for some big freaking lag screws. And they try to get that thing straight, but that thing is not straight up there. There's a gap. I know you see it. See the gap at the top of that uh, that 90 degree leg or whatever it is? It's not even flush up against the fascia. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why I stay busy. But because of the poor ass quality of these builders around here. I mean, it ain't an isolated situation. It's freaking everywhere. All right, let's get down. Okay, now, we're gonna go to the back real quick. Now, the side of the house, there's nothing really to do um, because uh, this is smart siding and everything is metal or they use vinyl. But here we go again, see? Look at that. They never painted it. Or they, whatever they did, they caulked it and then they didn't come back and paint it. That's probably what they did. Stupid, man. All right. 
The deck is Trex. But the posts and the bracing and all that stuff, it's not, it's wood, but you can tell the original stain was done in one coat, okay? So this is five years later and you can already see the effects. It's just getting real spotty, it's getting real thin and it's getting real dry, okay? You can see it, look at this. See what I'm talking about? Okay. And look how they do this stuff. They punch it all with nails. This is real rough. Your hand can get burrs on it. Why don't you, why don't you putty this stuff, guys? You know, come on, putty it. Putty the damn hole. And that's the number one problem with the builders out here. When they build these decks, especially, they just shoot everything with nails, okay? They shoot everything with nails. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and shock you again. Here we go. Now, look at this. See the gap down here? Okay, you see it? See sunlight coming through there? Okay, this is Trex. Well, guess what? Let me get my old knife out. Now, of course, you see it moving, right? You know why? Because they shot the whole damn thing with brad nails. Now, look at this. The cut is even not even close to being right. Look at that. Look at the shit show. Okay, so they never, they shot all these with brad nails. See the brad nails? How the hell are you gonna expect that to stay with shooting brad nails? Well, anyway, I've gotta put deck screws and connect this. And I'm gonna come up here and, and cut this a little bit to make this fit in here a little bit tighter. Okay, cause I mean, you can stick your freaking finger up in there, man. It sounds like a bunch of little stuff. In reality, it really is. But as far as I'm concerned, you pay. And oh yeah, the other there were contractors fixing that deck the other day too. So this is this is a, a constant problem in these neighborhoods, man. These beautiful first floor masters, they go for big bucks, man. I mean, like I said, this is way over five hundred thousand. And you would think. There'd be some better quality in all this, but they're just not, it's just not here. And I want you to look at this. Outside it needs to be power washed. This place is green. Look at this, they damaged it. Look at this, they damaged the damn thing. And it's got a gap. It needs to be caulked all the way up, see? They never caulked it. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And then they turn around and they put plastic fucking exhaust caps here when these should be metal. And look at the green. I mean, this is just ugly. This is just ugly. You know, what do you tell a homeowner that pays you know, damn near a million dollars for a house that this is the best they can do? I mean, really? Like I said, the, siding, this, this, the sides of the house is no big deal. I don't have to do too much here. A little bit of paint, that's it. It's the front and the back. It's got so many little dinky problems. And anyway, yeah. Okay, there's my rant for the morning in the handyman business. So here's just some advice. If you're a potential home buyer 
and you're looking at these these custom homes please bring somebody that has an eye that can see things that you would normally you know because you're in the moment of excitement trying to you know buy a house and everything in a fancy neighborhood and everything and then you overlook all the obvious don't do that to yourself all right you guys talk to you later tom out of here leave those comments what do you think